This is quantitative electrolysis part two. In other words, we're past the stage of working out what this means, and past the stage of carrying out the PPA, we're now faced with the question, how do we solve the questions that crop up in the exam? Here's a typical question. What mass of silver would be deposited during an electrolysis experiment if a current of 4 amps was used for 3 minutes 13 seconds? Well, where do we begin? Well, because the question refers to silver, we can use the equation for silver on page 11 of the data book to find the relevant chemistry. This is about silver ions gaining electrons to form silver atoms. How do we interpret this equation? This is telling us that since there's only one electron here, one Faraday of electricity is required to make one mole of silver. How much electricity is one Faraday? Again, using the data book, using the back page of the data book, page 19, it tells us that a Faraday is 96,500 coulombs. And we can also look up the data book to see that one mole of silver is 107.9 grams. Now, let's leave that for a moment and work out how much electricity was involved. How much electricity is that? We have this equation, Q equals IT. So the quantity of electricity can be found if we know the current and the time. Now, the current, we're told, is 4 amps. And the time, now here's the catch, the time has to be in seconds. So let's see, 3 minutes, 3 times 60, 180, plus 13, 193 seconds. So how much energy is David dealing with here? How many coulombs? If we do the sum, we'll discover that this comes to 772 coulombs. Well, if this amount of electricity gives 107.9 grams of silver, how much silver would be produced from just 772 coulombs? This is going to be a much smaller quantity of silver because it's a much smaller quantity of electricity. So, we take the mass of silver, 107.9, and make it smaller by putting the smaller number on top and the larger number below. And if we do this particular sum, the answer comes to 0.8632 grams of silver. That's a fairly simple, straightforward calculation. Okay, the only little catch really was working out Q equals IT. Occasionally you're giving a variation on this, something slightly more challenging. Here's an example of such a question. Look at this one. During an electrolysis experiment, 0.8 grams of calcium was deposited. How long would it take to do this using a current of 2.5 amps? So this time we're not, we're not being asked to work out the current, we've been asked to work out how long would it take? We'll have to work at the time. Where do we begin? Well, in much the same way as before, there's two aspects to this. One aspect to this is the chemistry. Now we're dealing with calcium. If we look up page 11 of the data booklet, we can see that when calcium is electrolyzed, this is what happens. Calcium 2 plus ions are turned into calcium metal. Because we're dealing with two electrons, that tells us that two Faradays is required to produce one mole of calcium. Now how much is two Faradays? Again, the data book tells us that a Faraday is 96,500 coulombs. We've got two of them. So this comes to, if we do the simple sum, 193,000 coulombs. That's how much electricity it takes to produce a mole of calcium. Again, look up the data book, a mole of calcium, 40 grams. Now, if you look at this here, we can see that in our experiment, only 0.8 grams of calcium was actually deposited. So I wonder how much electricity that involved. How many coulombs would it take to make simply 0.8 grams of calcium? Well, the answer will be far less electricity to make far less calcium. 
So we take this number of coulombs and make it less by putting the smaller number on top and the larger number below. And if we do this calculation, the answer we get is 3,860 coulombs. But this isn't the answer to the question. The question is about how long would it take? So here's the other side of the coin. We have this formula Q equals IT. But in this question is how long would it take? What's the, what would the time be? We can present Q equals IT like this. Q equals IT. If we want to work out the time, then we'll need to know these two numbers. Well, we know the current. We're told that the current was 2.5 amps. And we know the quantity of electricity used because it worked out. In this experiment, it was only 3,860 coulombs. 3,860. So, how long would it take to do this? We can see that T equals Q over I. T equals Q over I. The Q, value for Q, is 3,860. The value for the current is 2.5. If we work out the sum, this gives us a number which is 1544. 1544 for what? But we're dealing with time. This must be the time in seconds. In other words, it would take just over 1,500 seconds to deposit 0.8 grams of calcium using a current of 2.5 amps. Now the temptation is to write this down in minutes. You don't have to, that's fine. If you were to do the sum, maybe you could always divide by 60, it comes out to about 27 minutes. But there's no need to do that. That is the answer to the question.